tell me a story about a learning situation in which the learner really uh, was able to get great value out of out of the learning situation and 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 what that meant for them such a good question i mean i hope that that happens every day in the teachers that I teach, right? Right. Yeah, yeah. So my job is that I teach New York City public school teachers mm. and they go out into public schools and they become adolescent special educators. And I have mm. the best teachers in the whole world. And so my hope is that every time in a classroom we gather together, we're not always talking about things like self-determination theory or intrinsic motivation, but we're certainly talking about kids and learning and schools. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And my hope is always that our classroom becomes our home mm -hmm. and that our learning becomes our play. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. together we can really explore and model right? The mm -hmm. different mm -hmm. things kids do in schools every day and how we can enhance their motivation. And sometimes it's extrinsic and sometimes it's intrinsic, hopefully, right? right? right. But really, I, my hope is that I do that every day. And for mm -hmm. me, creating an environment that is conducive to that is like the most important thing that I do. Right on. This is the Agentic Schools Vodcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. What makes education possible is the satisfaction of psychological needs. So that is what these schools have in common with all others. What makes a school agentic is satisfying those needs particularly well. I'm your host. Don Burr.